Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ultimate 8 Pagan playthrough, part 27 I believe, I'm not exactly sure, has been a long time, um, yeah it's been a long time, like almost a year, and here we are again, um, this is not the same Ultimate game we were playing, uh, I could not get Pentagram to work for well over a year obviously so I moved on to a MS-DOS emulator on Max called Boxer which works wonders so we're actually playing this game as it's supposed to be played like on an MS-DOS program so a couple changes the graphics are kind of choppy and um yeah so let's just jump right back in where we left off I know it's been a while oh there we go uh the sky's turning um dark because I had to do the uh the lake part with Hydros first because I can't ch I couldn't cheat to get here in the MS DOS um MS DOS box I I, I couldn't do like what I did in pentagram so yeah but after we're done here I'm gonna load up an old save we're gonna do the, the lake then so let's, let's let's continue the game we're back it's been a year let's do this all right so we have to take the test for Bane here um so we have to show her that we can do flash flame bolt and endure heat so what you gotta do is let me uh crack out my chart that I made myself so let's do um, let's do uh, flash first uh, flash is a spell that lets you get out of my way is a spell that lets you I have stuff here somewhere that lets you um, teleport from one spot to another it's not really that important but it's, um, okay so we need to put red candles on both per and after. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff. So, okay, they're already there. <laughs> that was easy. So we just gotta move this one red candle and put a black one there, like so. Okay. Next step for flash is put ash on both of the bottom left and right and pumice at the bottom. So ash on the bottom left and right Hope you're watching this, everybody. That's a... Oh, right. You gotta... Obviously, you gotta... Don't forget to make sure all the candles are lit when you do your, your little spells. Oh, see. It just tried to activate the spell. You gotta be careful with that. So, okay. Make sure your candles are lit and put... And usually, a little cheat. Just put the reagent on top of the candle. That usually does work, and it's guaranteed to work now. And then... What is it? Pumice? Yeah, pumice. It's been a while since I did this. Um, is, pumice is the gray stuff right here. So put that on top. And we're going to need... Uh, uh, you know, something new. Put, Bane, you gotta get off. The, you got to get off the pentagram, late girl. I mean, Jesus. So we're going to use one of these. Okay. Now you just stand off to the side. Like so. Oh, wait, I didn't even start the test yet. Oh, that was good. I would have wasted that. I'm ready to be tested. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes. Test begins now. Do not fail. Flamper! Oh. Did it. That easy, folks. We got a rod of flash. Let's put that in our inventory, and let's move on to the next spell. Uh, flame bolt. So, let's just use a wand. These aren't really that good, and I don't really use Flame Bolt anyways. It's just like a long-range attack. What kind of candles do we need? Um, we need red candles at the bottom, which we do. Mezpa and Perze. So, Mezpa, okay. Yeah, this is really tedious, folks. Um, this is probably one of those convoluted magic systems ever in a video game. Um, but you know, it's it's like it's like um it's like so complicated that it's almost like special. Like you feel good when you get that spell made. All right, um, Mezpa, Alpha, and Perze, and Top. Okay, so we just got to make this one a red candle or black candle, I believe. Yeah, and you're gonna, your inventory's gonna get messy doing this, moving all the candles around. I think that's right. You always wanna double check, because if you mess it up, you lose the reagents, and, you're, and that's it. Okay, now reagents. Uh, per se, we need pumice. 
Yeah, you gotta put it on top of the candle. It just really works well. Um, Mez Pa. Uh, bottom right, you want ash. More volcanic ash. You gotta use a lot of it. And then iron at uh, Meze. And iron, everybody, is the red stuff. There we go. Let's stand off the pentagram and let's get our spell. Input flam. There we go. We have a wand of flame bolt. And one more and the test will be complete. So... Let's put that down. And we gotta do Endure Heat, which is a spell we're gonna need for the, for the um, Obsidian Fortress. So that's very important. So we're gonna need red candles at both, um, both the top, and then um, we just put black candles at the bottom. Must be standing on it. Oops, sorry. There we go. Put a black candle down like so. Okie dokie. Reagents, very important. We need obsidian at both of the top and then an iron at the bottom. I should have brought just enough for everything. And I did, look at that. Ooh. Butterfingers. There we go. The iron at the bottom. I always thought the iron looked like pig hearts. I don't know why I always thought that. Oh. I hate. See, when you unlock Hydros, this is what happens. You have to deal with this throughout the rest of the game. It's so stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. Okay, let's get our Heat spell. We're seven minutes in. We gotta hurry up. There we go. Well done, Disciple. You are now ready to seek out the Master. Go to the Obsidian Fortress. Only Master Malkir has the right to revoke this should you fail his tests. There we go. And let's take that because that's going to be important to survive. Our inventory is a bit of a mess. And that is the test. Pretty simple. God. Oh, this storm is just so annoying. Rod of Enduring with 10 uses. So when you make a spell, you have uses. We have Flash with 12 uses. We have a Flame Bolt with 3. And we have it with 13 uses. That's not bad. Okay, don't worry about taking candles. Um, you are going to need to have to make spells in Obsidian Fortress to do certain tasks. I believe Flash is one of them. I'm not sure. Though. I know Enduring Heat is needed one. But, um, we're just going to go with it, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's save. Remember, saving is important. Let's do, um, complete, complete test. I'm not going to save our, our online game because, um, you know, let's just keep a track of everything we do. So, so in case I mess up or something, I can go back, you know. Whatever. Okay, so here's the Obsidian Fortress. Let's go in. Oh my god, I'm like right on the edge. Oh, Jesus. And it opens up for you once you pass the test. And you're in. This is the pretty much I would consider the final dungeon in the game. Greetings, Disciple. You will remain within this fortress until you have found my inner sanctum, or you are dead. Even then, you shall not leave this place. Within the chamber beyond this hall, you will see the fate that befalls those who fail. The trials of the Obsidian Fortress begin now. And then he literally throws two demons on you. And you're probably thinking, holy good god, what do I do now? It's quite simple. It really is. You run. Watch. This is hilarious. Guardians, do your duties. Throw all decipher. I really hope you survive to become an Ocelot. Good luck. Watch this. Woo! And that's it. We did it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, it's a demon who wants to talk to me. All right, we come back. We're talking to that demon. See you all later, folks.